By the way, Brian threw the most, uh, the, the lamest rock and roll tantrum of all time. I was hoping you were gonna say tantrum when you said throw. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was pretty great. I mean, it wasn't serious, but I was, we were in the studio recording because we've got, we finished the new, uh, original Ninja Sex Party album. Oh, the, the, the recording of it. I was singing a very, like, heartfelt tune. Yeah. You know? And I was like, man, this is... Uh, somewhere out there is Fievel, right? Fievel goes west? No, 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 the, the, An American Tale? Is that what he sings? What, what's his, like, really emotional song? I don't fucking remember. Okay. It might have been somewhere out there. Let's say it was. Uh, whatever it actually and is. And you've said no, but it is Fievel goes west. That's the sequel. Yeah, correct, but no, the song. That's what I thought, because I thought you were talking about Fievel, and then I said a thing that denoted that yes, it was indeed that Fievel. Well, it's funny and that you said no. Well, it's funny that you said that because uh, I'm because it's very intrinsic Shit. to the story. Uh, okay. Yeah, I. Is it when he's like in the window and he's singing, and then the girl is yes, singing too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but let let let's call that uh, somewhere out there. Okay. And um. I was singing a very emotional NSP song, and I was like, man, this is like... This is like what Fievel sings in Fievel Goes West. And, uh... You mean Bri American Tale. <laughs> Brian... busts open the door of the studio, and he's like, uh, just so you know, he sings that song in American Tale, not the sequel, Fievel Goes West. And then he slams the door, and a piece of the studio, like, uh... uh, soundproofing collapsed from the ceiling. <laughs> and I was like... This is the least rock and roll <laughs> studio damage that has ever occurred. Brian angrily correcting me on which Fievel movie the song I'm singing came well, from. Well, yeah, but it's... He's right, though. Oh, my God. I, I told this story to the wrong person. Because it's clearly... I love how I did it before you even got to the caveat yeah. of the story. Yeah, yeah. Because no. it's true. It's the American... Ta it's a completely different film. Oh my god. Like, it's not even- it's not like, oh man, well, Jurassic Park and- well, that's a bad example. The Terminator, it's like the same movie, t again, right? But, the, Five Goes West is a completely different movie! Hey, look, there went the point. It's a different story, <laughs> different- different characters, oh, kind of. Oh my god. A lot of the same characters, but thanks. I can see it's making you mad! Ah, I fucked it up again! I can see it's making you mad. You became angry about the self-same Fievel situation that Brian got mad at. Well, how could you not? It's the- it's a different movie! People at home, back me up on this. I'm just saying, if you're gonna cause property damage... If- if in 20 years we're watching the VH1 behind the music of Ninja Sex Party... Not that they even make that show anymore, but you know what I mean. If they- if there's a documentary about, like, the secret world that we inhabited before, uh... Things got big or whatever. Like, I, I think, I think the recounting of the story of how Brian got mad about me recount saying the wrong Fievel movie and then destroying part of the studio is going to be pretty, pretty not on par with the drug binges that Guns N' Roses went on or the uh, sex orgies that Def Leppard had underneath their concerts. Yeah, but you know they really did that because they were angry about Fievel and Fievel Goes West. I agree, I agree. And n next time I meet Def Leppard, I'm gonna talk to them about that. Yeah, you should. And be like, guys, were you really just acting out because... Um... Because Joe Elliott sang the lyrics to the wrong Fievel movie? And that- and they will absolutely confirm 